Today we're going to talk about repressurizing your tank on your RO system. Uh, this should be done every year when you change your filters. You'll need a tire pressure gauge, you'll need a bicycle pump or an air compressor. Typically you want to check your tank pressure when the tank is empty. If you, if you check it with, with water in the tank you can get an inaccurate reading. All right, first thing you want to do is shut your water off to the system. If you've got an angle stop valve, uh, when the blue handle is in line with the line, that means your water's on. So what you want to do is shut that off. Now leave your tank open and reach up and turn on your faucet and you can run all of the water out of the tank. Uh, when the water stops running out of the faucet, you can shut it off or leave it open either way. Give your tank a jiggle, make sure there's no weight left in the tank. If there is, then there's some dead water, so to speak, that's left in the tank that you'll need to pump out. At which point you can take your bicycle pump or your air compressor and hook it up to the Schrader valve. Now the Schrader valve typically has a blue cap on top, but I've already removed that. So just unscrew it, that'll expose the valve. At this point you'll hook your, your air pump or your air compressor to this with your tank valve open. Leave your faucet open, that will run any, any dead water out of the faucet. Go ahead and pump it until the water stops running out of the faucet and you're sure that there's no water left in the tank. Next step is to hook your, your bicycle pump or your air compressor to the Schrader valve and go ahead and pump it up. After you do three or four pumps, you should be fine. Your target pressure is between 5 and 7 PSI. Uh, you'll want to have a tire pressure gauge. You can use a, a standard one like this. This one measures in five pound increments. Uh, you can also get a digital tire pressure gauge. They're, they're fairly inexpensive and, and pretty accurate. After you've pressurized your tank, you'll want to hook your tire pressure gauge to the Schrader valve just for a minute. It's just like checking uh, tire pressure. So right now we're just you know, about five, five and a half or so, maybe six. That's right where you want to be. If you're below, then go ahead and add some more air. If you're above, you can flip your gauge around and, and just press the center of the Schrader valve, allow a little air out, small increments, see where you're at. And like I said, you want to hit between five and seven PSI. That's your optimum working pressure. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to give us a call. We're here seven days a week until 11 p.m. Eastern, 1-800-608-8792.